Here's a bit of a decision maker as far as coming this way. It's kind of a T intersection. One going backwards will go back down to the Jimmy Russell Road, and we don't want that. We want to go this way. This is going to start heading us into uh, the nature park proper, I guess you can say. Even though the other part of it has been more or less recently acquired, where I was just at Sunflower Hill and all, but this uh, really gets you into the place. Amusement parks, merry-go-rounds, yeah, man, they got all sorts of neat stuff. Ah, ah, just kidding. This is Mother Nature at her best, putting on a show for us all. Now, I think I, these things are very cool. There's an old tree here that's clearly seen better days. And, uh, oh yeah, let's go back in real quick. Um, there's my walking stick. Okay, gives you an idea. The size. For around here, that's a fairly skookum sized tree. But it's been left to remain, uh, rather than being uh, felled, so that birds can still use it at as their residence, you know? Kind of neat. It's got a big ass widow maker up there, which is a humongous branch that's dead, probably dry as a popcorn. And uh, so you don't want to be messing around going tap, tap, tapping on that tree too much, or you might get a headache after something befalls you. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, still carrying on that same trail. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, Skid Trail or something. We just came from this direction, and we are heading in that direction. And a few turns, odds and ends, and stop in the convenience store and pick up a six pack, and then uh, we'll wend our way over to Myrtle Mountain. More to come. Hmm, as you can see by my foot, the path has narrowed a little bit. Uh, we're on the Duck Pond Trail, by the way. I thought it was Skid Road, but it's not Duck Pond Trail. And uh, we're going to follow this up until it comes to a, an intersection and look left. But uh, there's a fair amount of walking uphill. <laughs> so uh, for this boy, I got to take a break every once in a while. And, Catch my breath. Where's Bubby? He's just going to rear and go, that pooch. So, just got off uh, Tuck Pond and Trail, and now we're on Skid Road. And uh, this has sort of always been an enchanting part to me, where you have the light filtering in through these, these trees and all the ferns and stuff growing here on this uh, relatively narrow walkway. Yeah. This is why I walk. Some very beautiful spots. About a half hour into our mosey, and about another half hour remaining. If all goes well. Nice little narrow path. As you can see, it's got a bit of a an oops to it here. Not real bad, but uh, you can skin your big toe if you don't watch what you're doing. Also, you might notice there's bicycle tracks here, too. This is definitely a favorite spot of mountain bicyclists, or cyclists, uh, right along down the road. And definitely falls in the air, yeah? Autumn, as the colors and leaves change. Pretty time of year. 
Well, we've just turned off onto the Southwest Passage. La 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 la. You know that one? Anyway, it's going to start going uphill. Big time. And uh, get us ever closer to our goal of Myrtle Mountain Viewpoint. Okay. So we're enjoying a bit of a, a reprieve from the constant uphill battle. <clears throat> we're on a, it's still a bit of an incline, but it's uh, not as steep as it was. And uh, yeah, it's pretty thick in through here. Whew. Nobody's come in here that I know of and done any any real logging to speak of. Well, I'll take that back. There are some trees that look like they've been fall, uh, fell, fell, felled, fallen, cut down at some point in the past. Uh, just for information's sake, this entire area was probably scoured with a fine tooth comb for uh, uh, payable ore. Uh, Galena, that uh, beautiful silvery rock that I showed you in a much earlier vid, uh, was discovered here quite a while back. And uh, it started like a mini gold rush in a way. Because even though it's a base metal, it's still valuable. And uh, people came from all over to check things out and see what they can find. And you can bet your sweet patuti that if they found anything right here, <laughs> there'd be mine. There is a, an old derelict mining works uh, further up here. Um, that I don't think really went very far as far as uh, You know actually making it or turning it into a mine at least it didn't look like it but um, You know little remnants mainly a hole in the side of the mountain <laughs> is, is, is still there and uh, There's nothing left of a little old miners cabin down here, but believe it or not there was when I first moved into this area which is the brand new early 1980s. I remember coming up here for a walk and there was the, the cabin was still in existence. Uh, it's just an old you know, log structure and it looks like they had some sort of uh, uh, tin roofing on it, I think. I'm trying to remember now. But uh, I came up that one time and found the cabin here and then I came up what seemed like maybe a month later and somebody had burned the cabin down. So that was kind of a bummer, but uh, anyway, the trail's still here and it still seems to get a fair amount of use. And I'm going to shut up <laughs> because this is going to be lengthy as it is, and some of you boys don't like long videos. So we'll carry on to the next change.